here with Chris Nieto, the head professional of Exmoor Country Club, host of the Western Amateur this year. Now, Chick Evans, founder of the Evans Scholarship Fund, a member here at Exmoor. Chandler Egan, one of the great amateurs of all time. Tell me a little bit about some of these players and some of the history that's been made here at Exmoor. Yeah, so we got tons of history here at the club and um, with Chandler Egan being one of the founding members and uh, the start of the Western Amateur Golf Association and us hosting championships. Uh, we're truly uh, heavily involved with amateur golf and take pride in, in, in these championships. And that's what makes up a lot of our history here at the club. Well, it's awesome to host competitive golf because not every club does. This is a Donald Ross design. It's clear to me that these players are going to face some raised up greens, some tough greens to hit into, some bunkering where I was on the par three eighth. Tell me about that hole, for example. Yeah, it is, uh, is a fun one. And uh, the, the green is uh, sloped back to front and the bunkering in front is uh, pretty penal. And then if you go above the hole, it's uh, even more penal. So. Uh, it's very important to hit the green. It's you know 210 yards. All of the members have told me that the greens are part of the secret to, to scoring out here and, and staying in the right position. Uh, this community, Highland Park, has been deeply affected by a recent tragedy. And you're wearing a blue ribbon. I have one on my hat, and I'm going to be wearing it. I um, know that this club uh, was was really reeling from those events. What was it? What was it like to be here so quickly after trying to deal with the tragedy? Yeah, so obviously this is members' second home, and we want to make sure they feel safe here. And so the tragedy, um, you know, it hit home. Uh, you know, it's, it was a mile down the road, and actually, unfortunately, one of the caddies, his grandfather, passed away. And it was really awesome to see the members really rally and and take care of them and and raise money for the whole family. And so uh, the club did an awesome job in communication and making sure that uh, we were all safe. And when the members did come back the following couple days, that um, you know, we tried to liven up the mood and make sure that, again, this is their second home. And um, But yeah, that deeply changed kind of the way we look at bigger events. Well, and golf can be healing and it can be a great game for that. So to host this championship so soon after, I have a feeling it's going to be a triumphant affair in many levels as it would have been anyway. So I wish you luck with the tournament this week. Thank you, Chris Nieto, for spending some time with AmateurGolf.com. Yeah, no, thanks for having me. And uh, Amateur Golf's awesome and uh, glad you're able to stop by.